Welcome to the Pluto Sphere. Connecting decentralized technologies to the global economy. We are here to bring you the leading commanders of this space. So this week we welcome our guests, Chad Pickard and James Kirkby from Carbon. Carbon isn't just a product, it's actually an incredible entire ecosystem for creatives, combining open finance, fashion, art, music and NFTs. It's great to have you on, Chad. Thanks for joining. And Hello. James, um, maybe if we could just maybe start with a sort of brief overview, elevator pitch of what it is Carbon does. Yeah, I've come from a fashion uh, background. I was a fashion photographer for 20 years. Um, uh, the co -found, our co-founder, Claudia Demise, uh, who fortunately can't be here today, she was uh, um, editor at Harrods for 10 years online. Um, she was a, a Drapers Award winner. Um, and uh, yeah, James, James from, uh, from Mode Banking. Uh, he, he was the architect of Mode Bank. Um, so yeah, we've got a, a good combination. I came uh, from the fashion world, but then I, you know, in 2016, 17, I came into crypto and, uh, and learned a, a lot. And, uh, and last year, started Carbon. Um, elevator pitch. We are kind of uh, a crypto.com, but for the fashion world. Um, so we have a tiered card system, uh, we have a banking, uh, a, a neobank application uh, through our partners, Rails Bank, um, and we have a crypto and NFT vault. Um, for those, for those, sorry, sorry, Chad, for those people that don't know what um, crypto.com is, you, so could you just sort of dive into what you mean by you're going to have your own carbon card and things? So crypto.com. Uh, is an all-in-one application that made it very easy for, for uh, the average person to come into crypto. Uh, and the average person to, to deal with crypto, they could easily input their, their, their cash, their fiat. Um, they could, you know, there was a very nice user interface. Um, they've added things like DeFi. They've added things like NFTs. And you can attach a contract um, into that, an NFT contract that will give you royalties forever and in the secondary market so it's an automatic contract um, so you're bringing together art and commerce which is pretty exciting so it opens up a massive uh, sort of black hole where you know most creatives are going to go in that direction um, because of the the massive royalties uh, uh, and it's an exciting space and uh, a lot of people are getting involved at the moment so there are difficulties at the moment huge difficulties uh, you know, most of the people in the, in the industry um, find it difficult to even open an exchange account, you know, with, with Coinbase. Uh, and then you've got to, if you want to collect these items or if you want to get involved in this uh, in, in the NFT space, you have to form your Coinbase account, buy Ethereum, send your Ethereum to your MetaMask wallet, have a MetaMask wallet in the first place. There's so much friction. Um, so what we're doing is we're bringing together things that people already know. Um, you know, we're, our application looks very much like, uh, say, Monzo. When you first come in, you come in through your KYC. You have your KYC. You go. Uh, you open up the account. You've got. You get a card, a physical debit card. You have your bank statements. You know your money management, just exactly like Monzo. But it has uh, crypto in there as well and an NFT vault. Um, we then combine that uh, with a marketplace. And we're working with some incredible people for the marketplace to uh, bring not just physical items, curated physical fashion items and art, uh, but uh, digital items. So new exciting uh, digital NFT art. Uh, you know, we're working with some incredible big sort of uh, luxury brands and uh, we're going to work with them to bring and drop you know collectible digital items that we'll be able to uh, use in uh, virtual reality or, or you know uh, augmented reality awesome and you know talking about the marketplace itself um, you mentioned that there is going to be um, physical and digital um components and you're going to be able to purchase both and if you could maybe speak more about the um relationship between the two is there going to be um kind of objects or items in which have physical manifestations and also digital and and kind of how then 
the NFT tech is going to be wrapped around that. So uh, physical and digital is very exciting as well. Um, you can have, you know, with with our with this, uh, with physical items in the yeah. marketplace, you could then have a digital item that would be able to be transferred into uh, virtual reality. Yeah. Um, you know, that can be an augmented reality, and you know, maybe millennials, late millennials, don't don't really uh, understand, or they they might understand it, but uh, the digital native Gen Z, they 100% understand the whole digital digital space, and uh, a lot of um, uh, you know, a lot of them are adapt with uh, or, uh, with virtual reality, and uh, it's going to become a huge huge space, uh, and digital wearables and augmented reality wearables. We've seen um, Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook come in with Ray-Ban and they go about to release an augmented reality glasses that are just like, uh, you know, new normal Ray-Bans. Mm-hmm. But then you will have digital, you'll be able to see digital items in, in real life. Those digital items will, you know, will, will probably, will, will most likely have um, ownership and uh, authentication behind them um, and a designer. Uh, and that will be the NFT attached to it. Dad, you know, I don't know if you've heard of Boson Protocol. Have you heard of them yet? No, I haven't, no. So me and Georgie actually had the pleasure of having a chat with them the other day. And they are creating a Meta Mall. So in Decentraland, wow. and, cool. and they actually want to create a mall in every virtual world in game. And they are doing exactly what you're doing, but as a hub for many other projects like you, basically, that are selling, say, um, you guys are high up in the fashion world. So you, you're you obviously like a, let's say, maybe a decentralized net porter. Can we say that? Yeah, um, that's the audience then, we're trying to attack. Yeah, perfect. And so in that mall, you can you can kind of, you know, walk through Decentraland, go to the mall with your friends. There's going to be music like an HMV, like in one shop. And then we can go into your shop um, where we'll be able to like look at all of these amazing things that you could either um, own that NFT virtually and take it back to your gallery at home. Or you could just sort of pay for that NFT and go and actually redeem it in a real life shop. So yeah. that is exactly yeah. what he is creating. So we were actually saying the other day on our call, there might actually be a potential collab there. We'd love to introduce you guys. It's amazing what you're doing. And yeah, your app, it just looks so cool. It's so appealing. As you said, it looks like kind of like Monzo, but definitely better. Um, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. There's yeah, also, uh, Monzo's not allowed in Canada, is it, Blake? So I think this will be exciting for you to, to be able to Not yet. Us. Not yet. So maybe some of the uh, Canadian North American audience, this will be new for us. So we, we like to learn. So. <laughs> Perfect. Well, this is the, this is it. Like we 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 partnered with Rails Bank, um, uh, a UK company, uh, and they will enable us to open uh, our card system and our systems into uh, the UK, EU, and uh, uh, the US straight away, and even Australia. Um, but we, you know, we're going to take it one step at a time and roll out. Um, but yeah, as you can see, like I said, it's a, a simple system that looks very similar to you know your your everyday neo banking system so it doesn't scare people but then you you know you've got normal conversions but then as you can see you've got your crypto uh, side there and your nft vault there and as you go into the marketplace it's just a an infinite scroll of of items that we we think that you would like um in the physical world uh, and then we're going to do collabs to do digital drops and exciting drops like that. So, um, so it's you know it's a ver- it's just a very easy scrolling system um, that you might come across something that you like. We'll have a, uh, an AI system that will will record and, and figure out what you what you like to. Um, and then, as I, as I say, the events and the news and the projects that we do to empower the, the users. Um, so it's going to be a fun. A really fun application, a really exciting application, uh, and uh, and gems is the is our backbone um, to what we do. Yeah. Uh, we, and maybe maybe just um, Chad, you could speak a bit more about the gems token and kind of how it relates because you know in your wallet you have fiat that you can convert, you have the crypto section, and then you have the NFT vault and kind of how that all interacts then with the gems token. Yeah. So the gems token, we, you know, when 
Well, we are doing a, a, a launch, uh, a public launch on the 31st, and our TGE is on the 31st, and we will be listed on Uniswap. Um, and then it will be uh, our first uh, application of the Gems token. We'll, we'll have three staking pools to, to have, um, that you can lock in and uh, get a, a high APY on your Gems. But then when the application actually comes out, that's mm -hmm. when everything starts and uh, okay. you, you then deposit your gems into the application and you can then um, either lock them in to get diff these different card systems, which gives you different rewards and different benefits. Um, it gives you different abilities to, to get the tickets for our events. Um, all the events will be paid in gems. Okay. So every, every single event, every virtual event, every physical event, um, you know, gig or, 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 or party or anything that we do, um, you'll have to pay for in gems. Obviously, you know, when you explain it, it really underscores just how important the wallet infrastructure structure really is. It, it allows easy onboarding to people that might not be so sure about crypto and it allows that kind of simple on-ramp. And so yeah. with just, just to kind of reiterate or, or communicate to our audience that the card itself, um, you can spend real dollars as well as um, it allows you to then with that spend of the real dollars, which you can do on the platform itself on the carbon platform. Um, but then it also allows you to sp spend crypto dollars as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It allows you to spend any crypto as well. James, you can probably talk about that a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was going to touch upon that. Um, yeah, so some of these card providers um, that have uh, crypto attached to them, <clears throat> you usually have to sell the uh, crypto first and top up your, your card um, with the fiat uh, value. Um, but we've managed to devise a system um, with our partners that allows you to, with any digital assets that you hold um, within the carbon wallet, you'll be able to spend them real time um, uh, so yeah, you'll be able to select which which digital asset you want to actually use to fund that card payment. Um, and then in the background, we uh, it's completely transparent. The, the the funds will be sent for the for the card payment, and in the background, the uh, the digital assets are liquidated and the uh, and the the, uh, the fiat uh, recovered that way. So um, yeah, it allows real time spending of your of your of your of your digital assets. Where do you guys see um, sort of the fashion market in terms of adapting uh, into the crypto lifestyle? Like, how easy is it for you to turn around to a company and say, "Look, we want to do a crypto collab. Are you interested? Are they keen, or is it kind of a bit hesitant?" Like, I mean, we've spoken to so many people that they they talk to anyone from the outside world and they're so hesitant they still think it's fraudulent <laughs> so yeah. what what's your opinion on trying to get people involved um and how how likely are they to actually sort of hop on the bandwagon with you they're, they're massively keen massively keen um yeah it's uh it's it's something <clears throat> that is is is, is going to be a massive gold rush um You've seen it happen in the art world and, and the art world are flooding in and, and uh, you know, you've got Sotheby's, Christie's, everyone are getting involved. Um, you, you are going to see next, uh, fashion is a trillion dollar market. You're going to see all these companies come in. I mean, Gucci are already uh, looking into it, uh, Bottega, um, lots of different companies, big super brands. Mm. Do, you, um, yeah. do you have any collaborations? NFT or other um, that you can reveal to our followers? Uh, it's We can't reveal anything yet. We'll be revealing a lot over the next few months. Uh, we're working with some incredible, uh, an incredi one of the biggest publishers in the world uh, to, do, to do something. And uh, we've, got, we've got a secret project going on and uh, well, two secret projects going on with them. Um, so I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited to release it, but it's, we can't yet. So. so watch this space. It's been so great having you on and learning more about carbon. It, you've got so much excitement sort of coming in the pipeline. We can't wait to watch this space. So much hype. Well, thank you for coming on and thank you, Plutonauts, for watching. Uh, we will be back with more information from the galaxy shortly. Don't forget to give us a like. Give us a share and subscribe.